this year I am so happy and proud to be co-hosting with my dear friend Lawrence Fishburne, who is uh, uh, not just a consummate actor, but a consummate friend and colleague. And it's um, just thrilled to be on a stage with him once again. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. You know, every year I go into this concert thinking, you know, well, what, what could possibly be different or better? But every year it's something. My dear friend Charles Durning, who was a war hero, asked me if I would participate. I, I agreed to participate going in thinking, well, okay, this will be this nice concert where we'll honor people for Memorial Day. And I walked away from it li literally shaken to my core, which was a unique experience because it made me realize I make a living doing pretend. And here was a chance where being up on a stage in front of hundreds of thousands of people and realizing this was no longer pretend, this was the real deal. Memorial Day um, has taken on a, a great new kind of significance for me. We as a nation are protected and cared for by our military. The sacrifices of the generation who have been serving in Iraq and Afghanistan, um, going back to the Civil War, you name it, um, these are debts that we owe. Um, and we have a responsibility, um, not only to look after these people uh, who serve and sacrifice, but to also uplift them and thank them and let them know that we appreciate their service. I only hope that it, that it touches them in even in the smallest way that it had touched me from the very first time I participated. It's, it's touching a nerve that is somewhat profound. So if, if, if someone can come away from it, just with even a trace of that, to be able to say, I'm glad I was able to experience this because I've learned something from it, or I've, it's, 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 it's allowed me to be more sensitive to the plight of our, of our military. Um, if it does that, then, then we've been successful. The National Memorial Day Concert, only on PBS.